All right, in this video, we're going to discuss light rays and mirrors. If you notice behind me, it says my name backwards because I'm using the camera lens on the iPad. Joke of the day is, why did the sea snake feel sick after looking in the mirror? He found out he was ill. Or is it ill? He found out he was ill. Our light is known to behave in a very predictable manner. Let's say you have a ray of light. It will be observed approaching and reflecting off a flat mirror. The behavior of the light as it reflects follows a predictable law known as the law of reflection. Reflection means to bounce. This diagram below illustrates the law. So right here I have an incident ray. You notice how it bounces out as a reflected ray at the exact same angle as the incident ray. So if I measure the angle of this, it's going to equal the measure of that. You also have to draw the normal to the surface. Your normal is a 90 degree angle from your surface. In this case, it will be the mirror that's flat. So this is what you see when you're looking at yourself in a mirror. Let's say there's an object up here. It's going to reflect through the mirror. Remember, your reflected ray is the same angle as the incident ray. But you're also going to have a dashed line here that represents a virtual image. It's not a real image because the rays of light don't go through there. You also notice that the virtual image is at the same distance from the object. That's why if you look at yourself in a mirror, it's actually much closer when you're closer to the mirror. It'll also look farther away when you're farther from the mirror. Now what happens if instead of a plain mirror, you have a curved mirror? The st still the law of reflection occurs Whatever ray of light you have, it's going to bounce off at the exact same angle. If I zoom in on this a little bit, to find the actual place where the mirror converges, you want to think of this line as being a tangent line to the surface. Tangent point in a circle is where it hits at one point, right? So in this case, I have my incident ray going in. At this point, it's going to bounce at the exact same angle it comes out. Now what do you notice about this diagram? No matter where my incident ray goes, my reflected ray in red always hits where the focal point is. The focus point is where all the rays converge. Here's how to draw a ray diagram for mirror. For the f you could use two different points. One is from the tip of the arrow right here. You want to draw it horizontally towards the mirror then reflect it through the focal point like that. Second ray you could use is the exact opposite. You're going to start from the arrow, you go through the focal point first, and then you reflect it horizontally. Wherever the two lines cross right here will be where your image is, and then you could draw your arrow going downward. You notice in this case the arrow is magnified a little bit, it's a little bit bigger than the orange one. It's also inverted, that means it's upside down instead of right side up. Looking at a convex mirror, every time I do the same diagrams in a convex mirror, your image will always be smaller. You notice the arrows on the right are always smaller than the original arrows. There will also be a virtual image. These arrows are based on dashed lines. So you're not actually having a real image, you're seeing a virtual image of the object. It's also upright. These arrows are always facing upward. Instead of the concave mirror like we saw earlier, that would be facing downward. And finally, it's also reduced in size. It's smaller than your object. All of these arrows are smaller than the original. All right, here we have a mirror equation. It shows where an image and an object will be located. Depends on the focus point. So if I zoom in on this, your equation is 1 over the focal point will equal 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. You'll always be given 2 out of the 3, and then you just got to solve for the third one. There's a second equation that involves magnification. Once you know the height of your object and the height of the image, you relate that to the distance of the object and the distance of the image. 
So here's a sample problem involving the magnification and focus equation. Here you have a four centimeter tall light bulb right here. Place an image of 35.5 centimeters away. Your focal length is 12.2. So here would be my F. Determine the image distance and the size. To find your image distance first, you always want to write down what you're given into the question. Next, write down what you're looking for. We're going to find the image distance first. So we do 1 over F equals 1 over object distance plus 1 over image distance. I give you 2 out of the 3. You just do 1 divided by 12.2 on the left right here. You could do 1 over 35.5 to get that answer. I'm looking for DI, so just write plus 1 over DI. Next, I could combine this and this by subtracting. I'll get negative 0.11. And then to solve for DI, you're just going to cross multiply and divide. Your answer will be negative 9 centimeters. All right, class, so that covers the review of mirrors. Also, make sure you check out the other videos on wave properties. If you have any questions, send me an email at kaminskyl at heycisd.net.